Okay, I'm going to talk to you guys about it. concrete joiner tools. Let me start over and uh, show you the, uh, start this video. This is a joiner. Um, the disadvantage of this joiner is that it's not uh, magnesium. It's metal. Also, this hinge, um, the pivot point for doing this joint is uh, limited, a lot more limited than if you use a uh, adjustable. Um, uh, easy tilt hinge. Nevertheless, this joiner is awesome. Is awesome. They call them planer joiners, um, airplane joiners. Um, watch it work, and then I'll uh, show you where to link up for this product. Sorry about that. So the problem is with this metal one is that uh, this the cream on here is still too wet. And being that it's wet, you're going to seal it. You're going to create a little laminate seal, tighten the pores here, if you will. And that will allow the moisture to come up from the bottom, of course. No, not allow. The moisture will migrate from the from the bottom of the cement up. up. Um, well, let's just say it will migrate from the cement up and out to the air, evaporate. As it gets to this tight sealed surface, it no longer can go through all the same porous materials it just previously did. It hits something a little more tight. It's going to have to build up a lot more moisture before it can get through that um, to migrate through it. So it gets to the surface, it builds up more moisture while it's sitting there building up more moisture to finally be able to break through this last layer, however insignificant you may think it may be. Um, it delaminates the top surface, weakens it even. Um, well, I wouldn't say totally delaminates it. Ultimately, it will be del delaminating it. Um, so you want to make sure your bleed water's you know, uh, off or you've got to be using magnesium or wood trowel, something of that nature that is going to keep the surface still porous. Um, anything that closes the surface before the bleed water is finished, um, you run the chance of uh, all, the, all the spalling and delamination is what I like to refer to it as. Um, but it makes a beautiful joint. Notice the cross section now though, you know, you're, you've got a picture frame look it's called, but you've got to take a pick your poison. This direction is obviously not the same. You're going to have this uh, T here where the two of them cross when you push the other direction. It's going to look like that in other words. So you've got to pick out which way do you want the bigger, um, nastier look, or you can buy the uh, the long pole and sort of line up perfectly. It's just going to drive you nuts. Don't do it. Concrete dries pretty much all white and fades, and nobody's looking at those joints besides a professional. Don't get too crazy. Um, initially, yes, but after that, it's done. You can't brag to people, look at my joints, look at my joints, unless they're a professional. No one cares. All right, you need to be down at least a quarter penetration. Um, this is Marshallton's. This is a uh, one and one half inch deep, this groove here. This connects to a bull float. Um, Marshallton sells it for, as you see, 35 bucks. It connects to a bull float. Bull float. Yes, I've used them. They're, they're great. There's no problem with them. You can unscrew them. You can slide them anywhere you want on the pole. It creates a flatter surface. You will not get the picture frame look anymore because ultimately you're just the bull float will just give you your line. The advantage of this is you can get on it fast. This guy, they pretty much had a bull float everything, then come back and do this. Whereas when you're bull floating initially, if you know your lines, you can bull float your line right in. You know, on the, on the second pull and even the first pull, depending on your mud. Now this is the. Uh, Everyone likes to refer, well, refer to it as an airplane groover. Graf calls it a uh, groover with easy tilt bracket. Um, this is all these brackets. I use them. They're great. They're awesome. You don't have to have the problem of lifting the pole way back here to get the tilt on the back end of this. You would just uh, crank the handle. It does the tilting for you. It puts torque there. The chain comes around and puts torque on that on that end there, and lifts this end up. And then you drag it back towards you or turn it the other direction and push away. That's pretty expensive compared to $35. Um, and unless you want this, this is what this guy, airplane guy, will do. 
you can obviously come out and mag out the uh, the lines that are created on the outside edges of this. But this, this is a nice it's a nice idea, you know. It's it's a nice concept and it has its purposes. All right, one more site for you. Here it is on. This is the uh, brass version. This is the version I use. Um, the magnesium would be the, would would do the same thing. Again, it's keeping the pores open, and you need the depth. This is not the exact one I use. So if you stop and look at this, this is not it. I create one inch joints minimum for four inches of concrete. And you're going to have to do the same with six inches. You're going to have to do the inch and a half. Um, this guy here. Now this radius, that's the part right up here, the radius. It's going to be a tighter, a tighter, less of a gap. Now they do have um, metal guys that create even less of a gap. I don't recommend them. Let me just jump right here. I don't recommend them because, um, again, it's steel. And you're going to have to get on it too soon. Here's the tilt, the Easy Tilt or whatever product. This is Kraft, so this is their twisting bracket. It's just a cam action here. The other guy uses a chain. You don't get mud on them, so don't get all freaked out about it. Um, you know, do it. This guy is kind of cool, too. This is a mag and a broom. All right, so um, they they put them on power trials even, you know. Uh, I've seen uh, on a power trial. Lift it up, and as you trail it, as you're pulling your mag back, um, you create the uh, mag and, um, uh, I'm sorry, you put the steel trowel here and the broom behind it. So the broom's going to open it back up after the steel trowel, and you work your way backwards. I'm stopping this video. Hope you guys got something out of it. You saw the uh, websites, Marshallton. Um, I'll put it in the description.